First step is to get the correct plug on the amplifier so that you can plug it into the wall. Next step is to plug the blower into the hose that's going to be going to the shaker. Put the hose clamp on the edge here so once you get the hose hooked up to the blower then you can use the hose clamp and tighten this down so that it stays secure. The next step is to plug the other end of the hose into the shaker side. Put that on here and then secure that by tightening down the hose clamp on the other side. Next step is to plug the power from the amplifier into the shaker. Plug this in here, go till you feel it lock, and then it's ready. Next, plug the blower that we just connected the hose to into the power on the back of the amplifier. Next step is we have the network switch and the 9500 connections with the power daisy chain together like this, all coming into one cable here plugging that into the bottom connector on the back of the amplifier. This will ensure that every time we turn the amplifier on, the network switch and the controllers, the VR9500s, will also power up at the same time as long as the switches are continued to be left on. Next step is to plug in the accelerometer cables that you're going to be using. That's a BNC connection on the front here and you'd plug in however many accelerometers you're using. If you're using a tri-axis sensor, you'd be plugging into three channels at the same time for X, Y, and Z. And in this case, I just have one sensor plugged in here. The two 9500 boxes will be configured and connected together via the ethernet switch. The 9500s on the back will connect via the ethernet ports on the back, labeled network. And you'll take these two connections on both and have those come around here to the switch, have them plugged into the lower ports on the switch, and the other connection is going to be on the highest port on the Ethernet switch, which will be then connected to the PC. Next step is to turn on the power to the amplifier, and once the power is turned on to the amplifier, the, that will power the shaker, the blower, the Ethernet connections as well as the VR9500 controllers. So once I turn on, before I turn on the power, I'm going to verify that my gain knob is turned down and then I can turn on the power. When turning the shaker on its side to use the slip plate, there are five Allen wrench screws to attach the shaker to the slip plate. One, two, three, four, and a fifth one in this hole here you get the screwdriver in here and then turn it to attach it the screw stays in the body of the slip plate these four can come out when you turn the slip plate or, or turn the shaker back up when disconnecting the shaker from the slip plate and you have all of the screws disconnected as including the one in the back of the, sh the shaker slip plate you can push uh, slightly on the head of the shaker and push back on the slip plate and turn it in this direction. When you're completed this step you can use the supplied screwdriver here and attach this piece so that it holds the screw out for the next time you're going to use the slip plate. I'm now tightening up the Allen wrench screws on the side of the shaker. When I get the shaker correctly in the Z axis, tighten this side as well as the Allen wrench on the other side.